Hello everyone, today we'll be going to the Copper Island in the Buffalo region. So let's hop onto our canoe, press E to sail away, and go to the Buffalo region. I did bring a bunch of mapping charcoal, as well as builder toolkits, so we can make a dock here. Seems like maybe we should have brought a rope as well. Find the camp of surviving... Surviving what? Surviving Spanish crew. Shouldn't be that hard to find, I would imagine. Alright, let's set this thing up. There we go, another perk point obtained, which is our 10th survival challenge. Actually, we've done most of these as well. We just need, for most of them, leather, as well as a couple items we just don't have yet. Alright, now everything is set up. We can explore the island. Oh, there's actual termite mounds here as well. Nice. Some cannonball fruit and strong branches. It's actually not that bad to have next to a spawn location. There's a cave here? Never mind, it's just massive rock deposits. A place called Copper Island, I don't see a lot of copper yet. To be fair, it's probably in there. Can we get... Yes! We can get a couple of them. Right, now we just need some... Li Did he just kind of fly jump? Alright, well anyway, now we just need some of these leaves. Alright, let's start crafting some of the rope. Let's start mapping out the island here. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Get out of here, you fucking disgusting being. Bloody hate spiders, man. That's our mapping. We are pretty high up. Mapping radius has been doubled. <laughs> it's like the... It's like the entire island just because we accidentally doubled it. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> There's some interesting items here. Object there and there. Chronicle here. This is where the copper deposits are. I'm guessing this is where the camps are, where these beds are. I guess we may as well still climb this, so we can hopefully get uh, the last little part of the map, but that is quite funny. Right, well, let's go to those bisons over there, because they had some interesting locations. So what is this? An LG drawing. New goals to get sea resources. An ancient tablet that draws two types of LG and coral. I can try to look for them underwater near large rocks. Yeah, I kind of already knew that, though. I guess we just need to get every type. Well, sure, why not? Alright, this image depicts a primitive loom. I think we could have already made that. But yeah, that basically confirms that we can make a loom, I suppose. And we can make algae stuff with that. So we are definitely going to have to look for some algae. For now, though, there is a, another shipwreck over there that we're going to check out. So what is inside here? Oh, we found a book. An interesting site all the way out here. What is out there? There is a small island here, so I guess there is something interesting on that island. Or actually, according to my hunter's vision here, it's underwater. I will admit though, when I read Copper Island, this isn't really what I had in mind. Native map piece. A giant skull. Alright, so whereabouts is this special? Oh man, there's something in the tree here. I guess that is fine. I mean, that is technically what we got the rope for. I just didn't want to waste the rope here. There's a leaf bed up here, but also another book. Now let's start reading the mapping book. This might just be bad. Oh nice, it's partially cloudy. Mapping tower recipe. Honestly, this could have been probably really handy a while back. But also, not really, because it takes a ton of flipping branches. Let's start reading this, see what it does. Slightly overheated, that's not good. Carry items while sprinting, that is pretty nice. Oh, we got him. Nice. Oh. How's he not dead yet? There we go. Damn. That is crazy. We got two cuts, though, from that. That is not great. But hey, I wanted to see what they gave, and, uh... Well, I guess we got to see. So, oh, there's a cave here. Oh, there's a bunch of snakes and scorpions. Living water, nice. And an ancient drawing as well. So let's check out this area over here. This is not fully marked on the map. I could already see something shining for a second. At least I thought I did. Actually, yeah, that jaguar there is hiding something. It's also getting nighttime, which is not really ideal. Why is this tree glowing? Ouch. Ooh, we just got that. Alright, I'm gonna... Just drink one of these bloody living water potions. We almost died there. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're not that tough, mate. Not compare to what you just had. So what is this? Song of the Best People. And then there's stuff glistening over here. I guess this is copper, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Our overheating is gone. What is that? Is that mud? Or clay or whatever? It is a clay deposit. That is the first time we've seen it. So if we were to have a shovel, we can get quite a lot of clay from here. That is nice to know. 
So what's over here? Another one of these bisons and a native map piece. There's another copper deposit there too. It actually marks out a lot, actually, some of the surrounding islands here too. I'm gonna start moving into this location here. This seems like a camp. Ooh, they have a workbench here too. Oh, they have a dead guy here too. Well, we found the location where the crew was at. Found another book. We're repairing, that is nice. It's actually a pretty good location here. This has like quite a lot of things. Basically everything we have at our camp. This is probably gonna give us another cutscene when we walk in here. There we go, we have to pick up the book. The storm took the lives of many members of the San Cristobal crew, including the captain. But the ship reached the final destination of the expedition. Instead of the island, the sailors found an impassable chain of rocks and dangerous currents. They called it the B-Mini Belt. After unsuccessful attempts to pass the B-Mini Belt, the ship was badly damaged and in need of urgent repairs. First Mate Fernan, who had become the new leader, decided to stop near one of the large islands. Fernan organized the construction of a temporary camp there in order to find resources to repair the San Cristobal, as well as to search for other survivors who could be on the islands nearby. A few days later, the survivors arrived themselves. Juan Ponce de Leon was accompanied by sailors from the Santa Maria. Once again, the commander encouraged his comrades in the success of the expedition. During the assembly, Fernand showed pieces of copper ore that had been found on the island. If enough copper could be found, it was possible to repair and strengthen the San Cristobal and continue the expedition. The crew decided to go in search of copper ore deposits. The next morning, Fernand Delgado and Juan Ponce de Leon as the most experienced explorers left the camp. Map of Copper Island. Okay, so this is where we are. We're at the campsite. I guess they went to this copper over here. So if that's what happened, then what the hell happened here, though? Because there's, like, so many dead bodies around. Seems kind of crazy, to be honest. We need a copper ingot to repair this. We need a feather ink for this. Follow ponds and fern. Okay. We need to get those items, though. Both should be back at base, so that's, like, no big deal. It's kind of it's kind of stupid that we didn't bring our med kids onto the island, to be honest. Well, stupid on my part, I suppose. I found the living water, right on top of these rocks. Yeah, you know what? I think instead of continuing on, we should head back really quick, get those items that we needed, see what that was all about. We kind of need to heal anyway, so I'm thinking about it, and I think we actually used up the feather and ink to make a new one. Though we're gonna need some clay, which luckily we have a couple pieces laying about. Actually, do we have all the stuff we need? Right, we needed the pottery workbench. We couldn't make that one yet, right? No, because we needed to learn the blueprint for it. Which, interestingly enough, we still haven't found yet. Well, that's quite annoying. Right, stocked up on some new goodies. Let's take the helm and go back. I don't know where the jaguar is, but... It's got on top of here. Ooh, buffalo potion. Obsidian, a bone... An ancient drawing. Alright, so the buffalo icon we keep seeing is actually one of the tribes. And they are apparently the best crafters around. Or of the four original tribes that inhabited this island. See, there's also something down here. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go like this. I don't think so. It seems like we have to go for a cave. I should just go around and go the regular way, but... Uh, I just kind of... I kind of want to risk it, but I kind of don't. If I could just see a bit more. Actually, I think we may just... Actually, yeah, it was just all water. Ouchies. We might actually have a problem getting out of here, to be honest. Uh, Alright, well, we got a copper shovel. That's good. There is a grave. Gold digger's note. Alright, so it turns out this guy is part of our crew. Him and another guy from our crew found a map piece that leads to treasure. They were gonna dig it up together. However, instead, the other guy had some evil intents. But instead, he kind of broke his legs when he was sleeping. He has to be buried, though. I don't exactly know how that's working. There might just not be a way to like, actually bury the guy. 
I've been wandering around here for a little bit, trying a couple different things, trying different floors. Nothing's really working, though. So my biggest guess is that it just doesn't. It's just narrative pieces. Let's hope we can uh, make it. All I need to do is get on some sort of land. Oh, there we go. That actually wasn't that bad. Well, I'm looking at it, and I think we found everything that can be found on the island itself. So we need to get to the copper mines. Oh, there's a little note here. With another cutscene. Juan Ponce de Leon and Fernand Delgado found an ancient copper mine in the depths of the island. The explorers were about to start mining the ore. When a huge beast jumped out of the bushes and rushed to the commander, the conquistadors had never seen such a ferocious predator before. Fernand did not hesitate and struck the animal with a well-aimed shot. His quick response is the only thing that saved Juan Ponce de Leon. With the beast defeated, the friends filled a cart with copper ore and returned to the camp. The sailors were able to use the ore to forge strong patches and reliable tools to repair the San Cristobal. The ship and four small boats were soon fixed and ready to sail. This time, Juan Ponce de Leon decided to act for sure. The commander organized several search parties to study the nearby islands and their weather. Knowledge of the region was to help the sailors make their way through the B-mini belt. I found a list of places with coordinates where the search parties and the commander himself had gone. If I can determine the coordinates of the island I am currently on, I could draw a map and then figure out where to sail to find Juan Ponce de Leon. Well, all right. That was actually quite interesting. There was also still something underwater there. And he might fucking spear. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff flying at you on Copper Island. It's ridiculous. Honestly, I'm quite surprised we're still alive. See, when we were at the ship, we saw something in the water. So I think that's going to be my next location. Alright, so it's like right beneath it. Oh yeah, you can see the ship down there. Yeah, there's another set of tools. That seems to be it, if I look with the vision. And if I look with my eyes, it is also it. I think, actually, that means we have 100% at the Buffalo region, according to the map. I do still, however, want to check out the surrounding islands. So a lot of these rocks out here are also considered islands. We can actually climb on top of this one, maybe we can get a better vantage point. We've got enough mapping charcoal anyway, so why the hell not? Come on, double up. It did not double up. Sad. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything here either. This was also marked on the map. Well, this island didn't really have much. By well, much, I mean literally didn't really have anything besides the food. I guess while well, we have the hammer in our hand anyway, let's add the buffalo to the wall of trophies. Alright, so we can now make six fabric. Like six hours? My goodness. We learned five new recipes though, so that is good. Alright, let's check out what we got. So we can make new equipment. I think we can make this full set. And that's actually pretty good against sun, rain, and heat. And gives free armor as well. And the buildings, we can make a hammock. Which is also pretty good. So we had a side quest, right? I guess the side quest is done now. Because I'm pretty sure we just needed to make something in the loom here. Then we go see resources. Oh no, we just had to get a bunch of supplies. Okay. Dismantle the old stuff, because we don't need it anymore. To be fair, we sure probably kept it, but we get a couple supplies back, so that's nice. Alright, let's see what we get for repairing. It's too dark? It literally just turned nighttime, goddammit. Reduces repair reduction to vessel repair. Oh, that's pretty nice. So with that, we completed the Buffalo region. The rest of the regions are work in progress, so I'm guessing that the next quest we're getting will most likely be the last... Unless it's going to send us to the Windy Island, but we already did everything here. So it's probably going to auto-complete. But I suppose we will see. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.